Big Cable's home internet will put you through the stages of grief, like denial. My introductory rate is over, but surely they won't raise the price. Or anger. They've raised it. But with T-Mobile 5G home internet, you get our price lock guarantee, so we won't raise your rate for internet ever. And it's just 50 bucks a month with auto pay and eligible payment method. Check availability today. Price lock exclusions like taxes and fees apply. Qualifying credit required. Regulatory fees included in $50 price for qualified accounts, plus $5 per month without auto pay. Debit or bank account required. Beyond Zero is Toyota's vision of a carbon-neutral future and more. Toyota gives you the power to reduce carbon emissions and help move toward its vision with a wide selection of electrified vehicles. Whether you're into hybrid EVs for that traditional Toyota feel with better MPG, battery EVs for a smooth and silent ride, or plug-in hybrid EVs that switch between battery and fuel, Toyota has you covered. And for those who prefer hydrogen, Toyota's fuel cell EVs emit nothing but water vapor from the tailpipe. So cool. Giving you the choice on how to reduce carbon emissions and move closer to Toyota's Beyond Zero Vision. Visit toyota.com slash electrified vehicles slash beyond dash zero dash vision. Toyota, let's go places. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're pulling back the curtain to reveal women overlooked in their own lifetimes or in our historical accounts of the eras in which they lived. We're talking about the activists, thinkers, leaders, artists, and innovators history has forgotten. If you've thought, I bet I can do this work task more efficiently, or wouldn't it be nice if I could finish cooking dinner faster so I could enjoy my time doing something else? Then you're channeling the woman we're talking about today. She invented a number of products that make life a little easier. In some circles, she's known as the mother of industrial engineering. But in pop culture, she's memorialized more as the mother of 12 children. Let's meet Lillian Moeller Gilbreth. Lillian was born in 1878 in Oakland, California. Her family was wealthy, and she was afforded a lot of opportunities. Lillian was an anxious girl who loved to read she started building her own library from a young age. When Lillian first asked to attend college, her father was against it. He believed Lillian's place was in the home, helping her mother as a respectable woman. By her senior year of high school, she had worn him down. He acquiesced to her trying it out for a year. Lillian went on to get her bachelor's and master's degrees in literature from UC Berkeley. Two years later, in 1904, she married Frank Gilbreth. Frank opted to forgo college, instead starting a career in construction. He was enthusiastically fascinated by workplace efficiency. Lillian shared that enthusiasm and decided to get her doctorate in psychology. Lillian became Frank's business partner, running the construction company. At the time, there was a real revolution of thought around industrial work. A man named Frederick Taylor was something of a visionary. He believed in scientific management. He divided tasks among workers based on what he felt would suit them best. And he observed and timed workers trying to find ways to make them more efficient. Critics of Taylor saw this approach as inhumane. The Gilbreths, on the other hand, knew that workers needed to be partners in this fight for efficiency, not merely pawns. Lillian and Frank became pioneers in something called time and motion study. They photographed workers with lights attached to their bodies. Those lights would leave a trace in the photographs, mapping out their movements. Frank would assess which movements were inefficient or possible to eliminate. At the same time, Lillian was tracking how workers felt about their work, analyzing what motions made workers happiest, observing how dedicated workers were to their jobs, how their environment or ability to take breaks impacted productivity. The couple even created their own symbolic language to break down all of the component parts of work tasks. They called these symbols Thurbligs, or Gilbreth backwards, with the T and H transposed. At the same time they were shaking up the world of workplace efficiency and industrial engineering, Lillian and Frank were raising a family of 12 children. This is partly because they were followers of eugenics. Though they didn't believe in forced sterilization, they did believe it was their responsibility to have as many white, healthy, and productive children as possible. And thus, Lillian and Frank always had a lot of people at hand to test out their ideas. These ideas gained traction. 
Lillian and Frank began working as consultants and patenting their techniques. On June 14, 1924, Frank called Lillian from the train station. He had missed his train and wanted Lillian to go check on some preparations for a conference they'd be traveling to soon. When she returned to the phone, the line was dead. A little while later, Lillian heard from the police. Frank had collapsed. He died of a heart attack at the age of 55. Lillian had to reinvent herself. All these years she'd been working with Frank, she downplayed how important her role really was in their professional partnership. If she was credited in their published research, it was using her initials, LM, so no one would suss out her gender. Now, Lillian was the face of the operation. Five days after Frank's death, on June 19, 1924, she set sail for Europe to attend a conference and give a speech she had written with her husband. From there, Lillian pivoted to making changes in the domestic sphere. She didn't really care about housework or cooking, but that was how she could be taken seriously as a woman in engineering. She invented designs to make the home more efficient, like the L-shaped kitchen and the foot pedal trash can. She also designed a hub for record keeping in the kitchen. She called it the Gilbreth Management Desk Design, and it was exhibited by IBM at the Chicago World's Fair in 1933. The idea was to increase efficiency to afford women the time to do other things outside the home. Lillian built a name for herself in her own right. In 1935, she became the first woman hired as an engineering professor at Purdue University. There, she became friends with Amelia Earhart. She also advised multiple U.S. presidents, consulted with the government during World War II, and worked as a resident lecturer at MIT. In the late 1940s, two of Lillian's children wrote the semi-autobiographical book, Cheaper by the Dozen, followed by a sequel, Bells on Their Toes. Both books were later turned into films. The books were a humorous look at their unique childhood, but many argue they obscure the real impact Lillian left on our world. Lillian died in 1972, just a few years after retiring. Her groundbreaking work was the foundation of an entire industry, it seems only right that she's known as the mother of industrial engineering. All month, we're talking about women behind the curtain. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. Congratulations to the city of Bellevue, Washington. First place award winner for Innovation in Community at the 2023 Unconventional Awards presented by T-Mobile for Business. The City of Bellevue has revolutionized public safety as a leader in technological innovation to decrease road-related fatalities and injuries. In collaboration with T-Mobile 5G Solutions, Bellevue has improved the Vision Zero program, increasing real-time communications between cars, pedestrians, cyclists, and traffic infrastructure to provide early warnings on dangerous road interactions. T-Mobile for Business congratulates the city of Bellevue for their innovation and unconventional thinking. Have you had it with toxic pet odor products that don't really work? Try the revolutionary new odor eliminator, Poof. Poof eliminates odors instantly. No harsh chemicals, no tacky perfumes. Poof dismantles odors on a molecular level, turning any organic odor into clean, fresh air instantly. And not just pee or poop stink. Use it on stinky pet toys, their beds, even on stinky skin folds, ears, and around eyes. Because it doesn't contain harsh chemicals. Get the amazing new pet odor eliminator everybody's talking about. Go to poof.com today. That's P-O-O-P-H dot com. If it's not poof, it stinks. With millions of books on Amazon, there's a reading feeling for everyone. For example, Raquel's Whoa! When she first entered the kingdom by Dragonback is different to Ari's Whoa! When he found out there was more than one crime scene, which is also different to Ava's Whoa! <laughs> the moment when the stable boy became a stable man. From Whoa! To Whoa! To Whoa! Amazon Books. That reading feeling awaits.